When we map Lithuanian sites in the United States and in Canada uh, for map.trulithuania.com and especially Chicagoland area, we come to the surname of Kirvalaitis family and today I'm glad to present you Mr. Vitanis Kirvalaitis who is an attorney and also a member of numerous Lithuanian associations. Uh, the family is related to at least a couple of Lithuanian sites in Chicago area and uh, here we'll talk with Mr. Vitanis about these places. Chicago Lithuanian Auditorium was uh, built in the 20s in Bridgeport by the first wave of immigrants who came and worked in primarily in the time in the stockyards which were close by and everything like that uh, and that was a place it was a beautiful building uh, that had many halls had restaurants bars a bowling alley all sorts of places for meetings for dances for theater plays choral groups different societies would be meeting there and everything like that. So that was in existence when the displaced persons wave came after World War II. And my mom's family came to Bridgeport. My, my mom and parents, uh, Jonas and Genovaita Malores, in the early 60s started taking over and rented out the place and managed the day-to-day -day, uh, affairs of that place. And they continue to have various events, hosts, you know, banquets, receptions, dances. Towards the end of the 60s, things started to change a little bit. So in uh, 1958, uh, the Chicago Lithuanian Youth Center was opened on Claremont Avenue by, uh, in the Gage Park neighborhood. And many of the displaced people would start having their events over there. So instead of doing it at the uh, in Bridgeport, they would do it at the uh, uh, Lithuanian Youth Center. And over time, the number of people who were going to the Lithuanian Auditorium declined to the point where it didn't make sense to keep it open. So it ended up getting closed. It was sold in the early 70s, basically went into disrepair. It was used as a storage area by the person who bought it. And over time, it, the disrepair got so bad that the city of Chicago issued various uh, citations for the building for being you know, not safe and leading to its ultimate uh, demolition. So right now, it's an empty lot. There is nothing there, no marker, nothing to tell that it's the, it was one of the big centers of the Lithuanian activity in the uh, early 1900s and uh, up through you know, late 60s and stuff. Unfortunately, this place uh, does not exist anymore and, and it's such a pity because it was a, a gorgeous uh, building with a coat of arms of Lithuania and so on. But uh, there is also one monument uh, also related to the tennis, which is uh, a Lithuanian Craftsman Club uh, monument in the National Cemetery of Chicago. And what's uh, the story behind this monument and what's it built for? The Lithuanian Craftsman's Club uh, is a Masonic-related organization. It's for Masons of Lithuanian descent. It's a monument located at Lithuanian uh, National Cemetery in, in Justice, Illinois. And in there, the monument lists out the names of the various presidents of the organization. So the organization is a social group for Masons from different lodges throughout the you know, Chicago area. And, uh, they basically meet on a monthly basis and have several events a year, mostly picnics or banquets to have uh, a chance for everyone to get together. And uh, they do the picnics basically next to the Lithuanian National Cemetery and, and some of the grounds there and stuff. So it's been around since the 50s and uh, it has a lot of the first wave members originally and then uh, some displaced persons and uh, recently even some of the third wave you know, Lithuanians who've come. The Lithuanian National Cemetery in Justice, Illinois is of course one of the most uh, preferable places and the places one ha just has to visit once in Chicago area and we invite you to do that. You can find exact GPS coordinates where to find this place and this uh, monument as well on map.trulithuania.com and also to read about the history behind those places on global.trulithuania.com. Vitanis, as you are a member of many Lithuanian organizations, although you were actually born in the States. Could you name like at least some of the organizations you are a member of and, uh, and what actually uh, encourages you to do those uh, participations in the associations? So as you said, I was born here, I was born in Chicago, in Bridgeport, actually on 31st and Halstead, right 
you know, a few doors down from the Lithuanian Auditorium. So I've grown up in Chicago and been active in different Lithuanian organizations. Some of the ones that, I, that are near and dear to my heart include Lithuanian Scouting. been a scout since, since I was a little boy and, and continue. Even last summer, I was in the, at the scout camp uh, involved in the, uh, actually running the, uh, the Boy Scout camp and everything like that. So Lithuanian Scouting is fun. Uh, it's a chance to see a lot of people make a difference for the youth and to preserve Lithuanian culture. As why I do that stuff as well, part of it is I, when I was growing up, I only, for example, I did not learn to speak English until I started kindergarten because I was in the Lithuanian neighborhoods and you know, you, all your friends were Lithuanian. You would go to the stores, you could talk Lithuanian. And it was really a, a, a unique experience and time. And stuff. So I went to Lithuanian Saturday schools and uh, in, in Market Park, attended Nativity BVM school, which was also a Lithuanian parish and still is today. So I do the scouting, I do uh, Vidunas uh, Youth Fund, uh, which is out here in Lamont, uh, which is with the Lithuanian Scouts Collegiate Division, closely related to that. A unique organization, it's sort of a foundation to provide scholarships and support different kinds of uh, activities for the Lithuanian youth that exist. So um, that keeps me busy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I've been involved in the various other organizations from the Lithuanian World Center, uh, the Lithuanian Foundation. I was on the board for around 25 years and now uh, I'm the corporate secretary for them. Um, and they're, they're an organization that raises money to help support Lithuanian activities in the, in the United States, in Europe, and uh, actually in Lithuania too, so between all of those things. So that involved with the Chicago Lithuanian Rotary Club, which is also a, a, a unique experience, is definitely worth it. So there's a lot of different things that I've been involved with and I enjoy it. And I do it because I like my Lithuanian culture, it's mm -hmm. my, my friends, and you feel like you're making a difference.